This is a follow-up to my previous video, Deck Removal Z335E John Deere Lawn Tractor. I wasn't particularly happy about having to clamp my ratchet drive and block the belt pulleys with pieces of wood. I've come up with a solution to avoid this. This is the 3H inch square hole to tension the belt. Square hole and strong spring. The original one ratchet solution. Now the new two ratchet solution using the original three cinch hole. Installed in the tractor deck. Since there is so little space and it is so hard to photograph, I will simulate the use of this tool. The 3H inch socket facing up represents the 3 inch hole used for adjustment. Add the first ratchet wrench. Add the second ratchet wrench. Remember the heavy spring is pulling hard this way. So we can stretch and hold the spring with one ratchet and retrace with the other ratchet. You can go back and forth as much as necessary to be able to slip the belt on. Here we have the four pieces of our tool, a 3 16 inch by one and a half inch by eight inch steel flat bar with two 3 8 inch square holes, a 3 8 inch square steel bar, two and a half inches in length, a 3 8 inch drive, 3 8 inch female pipe plug socket, and a short 3 8 inch socket extension about an inch and a half in length. These are commonly sold in sets. Let's assemble them. We start out with our female to female pipe plug socket. Then our short extension. Then the 3 8 inch square bar. We really don't need the ratchet drive for now. Insert into our 8 inch steel flat bar. Oops, we need something to hold in the 3 h inch square bar. I used an alcohol swab patch between the square bar and the female side of the extension. We have to tap it so it is in there tight. Success! I took some duplicates and glued an assembly together. Super glue is generally hard, brittle, and useless, but Loctite Ultra Gel Control Super Glue stays a bit flexible, and I've had good success with it in the past. If the extension had a square 3 inch inch shaft, this would be much simpler. Or you could just file down the bottom inch of an extension to be square. I don't think this is feasible for the average homeowner. The length should be 4 to 5 inches, or a 3 inch stocked with a 1.5 inch. Previously we used an 18 inch 3 inch inch ratchet with a 30 inch teeter bar. We now need a second set. A 30-60-90 triangle will be used for reference. This bar is 0 degrees from vertical. Now we turn it to be 30 degrees from vertical, which is 60 degrees from horizontal. Here is the drawing of the flat bar and square bar. The flat bar is 8 inches in length. A 3 inch hole is drilled in the center, 1 inch from each end. The bar is tilted 30 degrees and filed with a square file to have a 3 inch square hole straight up and down. The 3 inch square bar is cut to a 2.5 inch length. Always wear eye protection. Filer sand purrs off the metal edges. You will need an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. 
I was quite pleased that my DeWalt Titanium 3-cinch drill bit worked. It was 14 drills for $14. The Morse Cutting Tools Heavy Duty Spade Drill Bit is $45 and has the best chance of working. Steel harden, hardness can vary from soft annealed to hardened and tempered, e.g. a saw blade. Avoid hardened knife blanks. The spade bit doesn't have flute, so it needs to be removed frequently to blow out chip buildup. Titanium drill bit in action. I use a 5 16 inch square file and a 3 inch square file. I have used these a dozen times before to put square carriage bolt holes in metal. You really only need the 3 inch file. Set the flat bar to 30 degrees from vertical. Tighten really well. File straight up and down. I usually do 25 strokes on the bottom, 25 on the top, 25 on the right, and 25 on the left and repeat until the file goes through. I used a 5 16 inch file before the 3 8 inch, but it wasn't really necessary. About 10 minutes a hole. This side marked the blue painter's tape is 30 degrees from vertical. Flip it over and it is 60 degrees from vertical. Both ends are the same on each side. This is the tool installed in the 3 8 inch hole on the lawn tractor. Pretty tight working area. Lower the deck to the ground. The dry pulley is locked so there is no rotating and slipping the belt over possible. We can now use our two ratchets and cheater bars to release tension enough to slip the belt on. No clamps and wood blocks necessary. Remove the cheater bars. The really strong spring will slam one of the other ratchets against the stops. The top ratchet was loose, so I pressed the release button and popped it off. The pipe plug socket stayed with it. I used this to turn the 3 inch square bar from the bottom and release tension on the other ratchet. It is easiest to move the ratchet direction switch to loosen. Note the spring pulled the bar toward you. You can pop out the other ratchet and remove the belt installation tool. Raise the deck back up and give it a test spin. Since this usually causes lots of anxiety, here's your moment of meditation. <laughs>